Hey everybody, welcome back to Ultimate Affiliate Marketing. I am your host, Paul Motley, and I am super stoked you are with the podcast today. I just want to share a couple of things with you. Now, I've been doing this little experiment for a while now. In fact, um, if I look at my stats, it is now, I believe, day 15 or day 14 of doing these podcasts on a daily basis. And um, so far, I've been super stoked. I'm just looking at all the numbers now that people are actually tuning in and listening. So if this is your first time, then make sure that you do subscribe to the podcast and check the show notes because normally there's a link there to get some free stuff. So what I want to do is, oh, excuse me. Right. What I want to do is talk about how you can actually get affiliate sales through YouTube. Now, YouTube, of course, you probably know this already, but it's the second largest search engine next to Google in the whole wide world. So it makes sense to have some of your content out there. Now, before you go screaming to the hills saying, oh, I don't want to go on camera, I don't want to do this, don't want to do that. Well, there are always methods and means of getting over this fear, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be on camera. Okay, I see plenty of YouTube videos out there which absolutely kill it with just a voiceover. And ultimately, you could always get someone else to do the voiceover as well. There are other sites like Fiverr, for example, where you can go and provide a script and someone will read it for you. So you could be literally hands off. So if you don't like this, <laughs> it sounds awful now, but this is going to talk to somebody out there, I know. But if you're worried about getting on camera, if you're worried about your own voice or, or stuttering or doing anything like that, I mean, just take a listen to my podcast, for goodness sake. I don't get it all right all the time. Just then, um, you know, sometimes I'll cough, I'll go, um, I'll go, uh, and all this sort of thing. But it doesn't have to be amazingly polished because the more authentic you can be, the more people are going to buy into it and the more people are going to start trusting you because you're a real person. They can relate to you. So right now, I just want to dive into this because obviously YouTube is such a visual thing. Doing this on a podcast sometimes can be tough, but I want you to have an end in mind. Okay, so what are you trying to achieve through using YouTube? Now, in affiliate marketing, what we want to do is we actually want people to go ahead, click through using our affiliate link and buy a product. Okay, does that make sense? But you could also use YouTube to take people to your own landing pages, get them to opt into a, uh, an email, and of course, then you can send them affiliate offers later. So it doesn't have to be sales straight the way you can provide as much value or just basically uh, go for it from the off go. Now, I have noticed a lot of people which do reasonably well with um, review videos, for example. So a new product or service may be coming out, They'll go out and get it. And sometimes, yes, you do have to go and get your uh, your wallet out and go and purchase. But it gives you an opportunity to see exactly what's inside. Now, I know there are some JV partnerships which they kind of give you a little bit of a lucky loo behind the scenes so you can actually see what's going on and take a look inside of the program or the software or the service or the product or whatever it is beforehand. And sometimes that's great because if you're in that lucky position, then quite often you can start dominating YouTube before people are going to start looking for it. Because what do most people do? And I was actually guilty of this myself literally yesterday. I got sent an email based on a product. I clicked through to that product. And then I went on YouTube looking for a review of the product. Okay, so any of you uh, product designers or if you've got software or products or anything out there right now, make sure you have your own review on your page because you could be losing sales by that because people are going to go off the platform, go to YouTube, check out the reviews first and then come back. So you might as well have a few impartial interviews that are on your page to start with. So let's dive in. So what makes a video good? Well, the first part of the video is, like I said, if nobody sees your video, you're not going to get any traffic. No one's actually going to take action from that video and then go ahead and click through to a site so you could get an affiliate sale. So we need to do what we call rank the video, okay? And quite often, just like in Google, the first 10 videos, i.e. the first page, are the ones that get the most traffic. Probably about 90% of the traffic is given to those first 10. So we're not gonna talk about anything specific about um, scraping views by using suggested stuff and all that sort of thing. 
I am just focusing on search traffic through YouTube itself. So the best way to do this is obviously do a review of the product, but also as well, if you start typing something into YouTube, it's going to automatically tell you what the next things that people are also searching for. A little bit like if you go into Google, you type in search term, you scroll all the way down to the bottom, and it'll say people also search for X, Y, and Z. So it's giving you a fundamental basics that you could either answer within one video or you could string a few videos out and see if you can rank for each of them. So what makes it easier to rank on YouTube? Well, ideally something with less competition. If you were trying to rank a video where most of the videos have got millions of views, it's gonna be really tough to get out there even if you've got a small channel. But if you're just starting out or if you uh, got maybe a thousand to 2000 subscribers, then there are ways and means of getting this up and running in a way that it can work for you as well. So what I would generally do is you're gonna need some help, okay? Don't be going and searching YouTube for how to rank videos on YouTube. That's the first thing because, again, there's, you can spend all day watching videos until you actually start doing it yourself. You're not going to get far, right? So follow this advice. Now, I normally use two different tools, um, one of which is vidIQ and the other is, gosh, now I'm in trouble because I forgot what it's called. It is, oh, where are you, where are you? TubeBuddy, there we go, TubeBuddy, right. So when you start, start searching things in, then it's gonna give you a, TubeBuddy is, is especially, it will tell you, if you put a search term in, it will tell you how many videos are listed for that particular term. Okay, now we want a low to medium amount of videos. Anything that's got less than 100,000 results, that's a good target to go for. But you also wanna make sure that people are actually searching for that. So again, another bit of research, you could go to Neil, Patel's, uh, Neil Patel, sorry, Uber Suggest, and that may tell you, or you can go keywords anywhere, or keywords everywhere, whatever the little tools are around there which will show you when you type it in how many prospective searches per month. Now, if you can get a search term which has got less than 100,000 video results, but also anything over 1,000 possible searches that month, then there's a good chance you're gonna do well because you're gonna get some traffic and it's also gonna be easier to rank for. So what we do is we create the video and then we start putting it together. So you're gonna to need to make sure that you've got these three things covered because as with anything, it all starts with a hook, a story, and an offer, right? So the hook is gonna be the title which draws people in. The story could be where you tell people about the product or you tell a story about the success you've had using the product. And then finally the offer is where you, the call to action comes in and you actually go ahead and ask them to do something in particular, whether it's watch a second video, whether it's go to your website, whether it's click the link to go and buy the product or service or whatever they're getting. Or even in a lot of cases, it's clicking a link to go get some free stuff related to it. So that's kind of like how you wanna make sure you structure your videos around. But also as well, don't just stop at one video because one video is great, five videos is better, 10 videos is fantastic. But how do we possibly find 10 different videos to actually put together onto YouTube that people are going to look at? Well, again, it may not be a combination of getting these ultra amazing keyword combinations, but you might find that if you have like, say, 10 videos, then some of them are going to rank in the similar terms to your first one. And of course, if you're getting a little bit of traffic from 10 sites is so much better than getting a little bit of traffic from just one. And I'm talking about the, obviously the videos here. I'm getting myself mixed up, it's great, isn't it? So a good question is what topics to use? Well, if you go to a site called Ask the People, then you can type in your search term and you'll find a list of questions. And also if you go to the product or, or services website, quite often there are FAQs on there. 
Now that's gonna give you inspiration because you can actually create a video, even if it's only 30 seconds or a minute or three minutes or five minutes long, answering each specific FAQ. Now, a long time ago, um, I remember looking and there was a guy called Mike Koenigs, um, really amazing guy with video. And what he did was said, right, okay, well, when it comes to videos, you wanna make sure that you've got your 10 FAQs, but also your another 10 uh, SAQs. And the SAQ is should ask questions. So if you know the product or service inside and out, then you think, okay, right, well, these are the things that people are asking, but these are the 10 things that people should be asking. Okay, so now you've got perspective spread of 20 videos that you can try and get ranked. And of course, if you use the question in the title, the question in the description, and the question in the tags, then that's gonna help you rank on the on to YouTube as well. And of course, there's no harm in referencing the URLs for the, the share URL, should we say, for each of the different um, videos that you're doing and listing those questions out, because that will then become almost like a mini hub of links going back and forth on YouTube between your videos, which of course helps with your algorithm, which then helps push each one forward in the rankings. So that is the easiest and quickest way to start as far as getting something onto YouTube. And then obviously as an affiliate marketer, what we want is we want people to buy the products. So that is the easiest way to start dominating onto YouTube. Now, I could go into uh, amazing depth with this, but sometimes it's just easy uh, to get on and go for it. So like I said, top recommended tools, I'm gonna list them in the show notes on this one is vidIQ and also TubeBuddy, both of which are free. I will say both of which do also have paid versions. I also am an affiliate for both of these products as well. It won't cost you an extra penny or, or anything like that if you do decide to upgrade to a paid program. It just means they give me a little kickback, which is all cool, nice, lovely. Right, so I'm gonna include those links so you can actually start going and checking out those softwares and hopefully getting some um, nice views and rankings onto YouTube and that's gonna equal more sales. So that is gonna finish us up for right now. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and check the show notes for all your free stuff.